Meteorologist Mike Haddad in the Stormwatch 9 Weather Center. An update on the path and trajectory, possible impacts from Hurricane Henri. The 8 o'clock advisory does not paint in a new track. That comes in at 11 o'clock, but it does show the updated stats. Still a 75 mile per hour sustained wind hurricane, a minimal hurricane moving off to the north and northeast at about 18 miles per hour. You'll notice right around the center of circulation, there's an explosion of thunderstorms, and that indicates a potential deepening of the storm or strengthening of the storm. Eventually, a turn back to the north and northwest should occur overnight into tomorrow afternoon. And on the current path, the most likely scenario is that scattered showers, downpours, and even isolated thunderstorms could begin to break out in southern New Hampshire as early as early tomorrow morning. And then the remnant rains continue to build through with much weaker winds as we go into the day on Monday. Now strong winds not anticipated here in New Hampshire, except in any isolated severe thunderstorm. And there is a chance of a couple of severe storms in far southern New Hampshire. Heavy rain and flooding most likely in the Monadnock region, southwestern parts of the state. 40 mile per hour winds not out of the question could lead to some scattered outages should not be a widespread major wind problem for the state based on the current track a little, that could shift a little bit. Best shot of those winds would be in the higher terrain and in southern New Hampshire, and there could be some minor coastal flooding near the time of high tide. That would be tomorrow night near the midnight hour. Coming up at 9, we'll have another update on the progression of the storm and the updates on what we can expect in terms of impacts. Between now and then, get much more on our website, WMUR.com, or on our mobile app.